Hi there, Foxy Gamers! Welcome back to our humble little town of Hedge Plain. Let's see if today we can actually attract some new visitors. Or, not visitors, rather, permanent residents. And see if they can actually live for, you know, an entire day. Because now we're brave enough to let them inside our village instead of leaving them out to die to the golems. How nice of us. Just gonna give them a bit more of a cue to mine down here. Oh, and one other nice thing that they added in this Alpha 19 is that you can build ladders without wood, which it is a little bit unrealistic, but it's very nice if you do what I did and accidentally dig down too far sometimes. And instead of, like, before where it had to be somebody outside, that was... Whoops. Nope, oh, not, not gonna be today. It had to be somebody outside come build a ladder for them and help them out. Now they can just build a ladder themselves without having to get wood. So that is very nice. Ah, no problem there. I like having those easy ones because it will just help our guys level up a bit and not have to worry about them dying all the time. So our food situation is getting a little bit better, but I think I'll just give a, another area here for the time being. Eventually we're going to want to build stuff back here, but right now we don't need this space, so we'll use that for trapping our animals, and once I get brave enough we can push out a little bit more, or we could potentially build some things inside here, too, underneath the the mountain where we're digging out that space. But I really like making the buildings, because they're super pretty, and they help increase our village worth a lot, so that's always really nice. All right, let's see what it will take for us to train an archer. I think our carpenter, is it, is going to need to level up a bit more. Yes, carpenter level four, and I think she's only level two, which is a little bit rough. Oh, level three. Okay. Not, not so bad. Let's see their character sheet. Halfway there. Okay. Well, I might just have to queue up a bunch of stuff that we don't really need just for the sake of leveling him up. I'll make some crates so that we can clean up our terrible mess that we have here. And we'll just make some furniture. And we'll probably need another piece of logs, so I will stick that out there, and we'll give them a couple, because we're going to be using a lot of wood. And then we'll break that down and turn it into wood for the carpenter. Just like so. Alright, what shall we do next, everyone? Um, just because this is messing with my OCD here. I'm gonna make this nice and symmetrical. Uh, well, I guess it's not perfectly symmetrical because look at how much I messed this up. Wah! But let's do... What do we have? Corn, pumpkin. I think we have everything, so it's just a matter of what additional thing we want. Or do we not have wheat? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, we do. Okay. I'm going to throw down another pumpkin field because pumpkins are awesome and Halloween is approaching. So we need to make sure that we have some extra pumpkins for our hearthlings to turn into jack-o'-lanterns. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute if they could do that. But to be added, actually, I don't know, probably not going to be added. All right, I think it's time for us to build another little workshop here. Very similar to this guy, although I think I'll have it facing a different direction, which means 
I'm going to be brave and move out these walls here. Ooh, one iron helm for seven large crates. Yes, I do think we will do that. Uh-oh. We have a Varanus. It's kind of a big one. Let's slow this down, make sure we can micro these guys out so they don't die. Hmm. This guy's a little bit tougher than the last one we had. You run away. Yeah, let's let's have the full health person attack him. Oh, so close. We should be fine next time with that additional farm that we have. Come on, guys. You can do it. Phew. Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? What's, what's happening over here? Oh, okay. You're just going after a goblin. That's fine. He's a chicken anyway. Easy target. I almost feel a little bad. Yep. Okay. That's cool. Kill the fire. All right. We will live to see another day yet. Let's get started on this building over here. I'll pause the game while I build this. And I will see you guys when I have these plans set up. Alright guys, welcome back. And here we have what our second little workshop building is going to look like. I originally was going to make it two floors, but then I realized that that was going to be super huge. And probably a little bit overkill for the level that we're at right now with as few hearthlings as we have. And now I'm kind of wishing I had put this more to the side here, so I'm going to cheat a little bit, even though I said, well, I still am only doing custom-made buildings, but um, I'm going to cancel this, and then I will just rebuild it over here. So make sure that I have this saved before I actually delete it. No. Okay. Oh, here we go. Workshop 2. So that's good. And we will delete this. Yes. And we'll have to move a bunch of this stuff around here before we can actually place that, but I'll go ahead and do that and see you in a few. All right, so we'll grab our workshop and we'll stick it right there next to the cemetery, which, by the way, we should make official with a real fence and everything specifically for the cemetery, but I will do that at a later time. All right, so we'll have to make a bunch of these because I know it will queue up, like, the windows and stuff. I can't remember. Oh, that's right. You, It will queue these things up, but if you're missing materials to make the things that it's missing, then it will have trouble. So, like, for the signs, I will have to create just a regular wooden sign first. So if we go in here, oops, not that guy, to our carpenter, we can see that it did queue all of these up, but we need to make the wooden wall mounted sign to those. Hopefully making all this stuff will also level up our carpenter to level four so we can train ourselves an archer. Oh yeah, I forgot we also have, um... That trader coming. Seven large crates. I'm not sure I made that many before, so I will queue those up too. And, you know, I'm going to put them first because I don't know how long it's going to take our carpenter to make that stuff. Then we'll get be able to get rid of all of this mess and put it inside our beautiful new little workshop building. Let's take a look and see what our blacksmith is up to making. Iron pike? Yeah. 
I don't mind if we do. We'll do just one of those for now since we already have a mace and we're going to train an archer. When the trader comes back, they'll be giving us an iron helm. And what is this? Uh, I don't... Oh, equipable by, by cleric. Okay, that... I, it seems um, that the cleric will go into battle with your people. I think it was maybe Jokyo that told me that would happen. So I do want to get to a cleric as fast as possible, and that way they'll be able to heal our wounded much, much better. Okay. We definitely want some iron shields. That means we're going to need to make some more iron ingots, and we have a lot of iron, so might as well do that. Decorative scout gong. That's cute. <laughs> oh, and a vault. 256 items. That is a fantastic storage box. Oh yeah, once our carpenter gets up to level 4, we'll also be able to make the leather-bound trunks so we don't need, like, a million of these large crates sitting around. How long until we can turn our farmer into a cook? Need to be level 2. I assume you're level 1. Please tell me you're at least level 1, Peyton. Max level? What? Why? Oh, we just need a spoon! That's what's wrong. My bad. Okay. Is that at the carpenter that we make it? Mason. Alright. No problemo. That's not our mason. There we go. Get ourselves a spoon so that we can do better on this food situation. I am not a fan of being so low on food. That means we're going to need to wait until another person comes in to take the place of our farmer because I could be wrong, but I don't believe your cook will take on duties of of a, a farmer, which is a bit of a bummer because like in Nomoria, it was really nice. Uh, 13 picket fence for three comfy beds? Sure, why not? In Nomoria, it was nice because you could you know, prioritize the tasks that something did and, and really customize things. And that way, you know, you'd have your crafters, but then you'd tell them, well, if there's nothing to craft, then you can help tend to this thing over here too. Oh, so we want to queue up these fences. I can't remember how many it was. I'm glad that it gives me this little reminder. 13 picket fence. Okay. We'll just make 15, because why not? I hope you have our items for our trader. Yay! We have an iron helm now, so hopefully they'll just automatically put that on. Please? Please better yourselves. Yay! Oh, that's fantastic. Look at Daff. He's so buff. Ooh, good. Let's take advantage of these invaders. This Varanus that dare messes with our mighty warriors. Although your your health is still going down rather quick for having that iron helm on you. Okay, okay, that's enough. Why are you still tanking? Stop it! I don't know if this thing is automatically trying to attack the dude that is, like, the strongest or what. Okay, you both- oh, I can't shift-click, that's annoying. You both need to back off now- alright, no, okay, we're already done, I wasn't even realizing it. Hooray! A new settler! Yes! Thank you, and welcome to the town, Wind Zedro, and you'll be- oh, no, you're not the new one. Tippy Pounder! Ha! I think I've had that name in a game before, because it's a very significant name. And, yeah. There must not be too many to be reused. Okay. So, Tippy, you'll be happy to know that you were able to get into our town without dying, unlike the people before you. And we will train you to be a bomb. And now, Peyton 
can be our cook. Hooray! Why did you guys cease production over here? What, 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 what's the matter? Why do you have an exclamation point? Construction, support, uh, scaffolding, what? What is the deal here? Oh, okay, we're out of wood. That, that might be a bit of a problem. This is like the first time all game that we've been out of wood. That is crazy. It took us a really long time. And look at all these trees we still have around. I don't think running out of wood is going to be a thing that happens in this game. In fact, I may not ever even bother planting trees. Okay, so let's get our... Cooking station, stone cauldron, whatever you want to call it. And the mill grinder. Can't make the stone oven yet. Oh, we don't have a lot of corn, huh? What else can we make? No chickens. Lots of vegetable stew. Ah, uh, we don't want to bother with animal feed yet. Okay. Storing wheat bundles. Okay. Cornbread. Alright, so the sack of flour, we have to wait till level 2. Alright, already a level 1 farmer. That's wonderful. Might not be able to harvest the upper level crops. Not entirely sure. But I guess we'll find out if we see them going rotten. That means that no, we can't harvest the higher level crops. And our stockpile, once again, is getting... <laughs> Very, very full. Soon to be taken care of with large chests, but... How is that going, anyway? Oh, wonderful! We can create a leather-bound chest. Eventually. Now, do we have bolts of leather? Oh, you know what? I bet... We lost our cute. Oh no, I just never had it queued up, I guess. Okay. Nope, we want maintain, not craft now. There we go. And for our cook. Uh, not worried about the goblin. For our cook, we will just start creating bunch of vegetables. I do believe that if you cook the food, it will actually take longer to spoil, which obviously makes sense. So that's also nice, but it's not like we're really having a, a problem with spoiled food right now because we've been a little short most of the time. Okay, trapper level three. Does that mean... She's high enough to be a shepherd yet? Oh, a long time ago she could have been a shepherd. We just need the shepherd's crook. Alright, we can do that. Oh, maybe not. Level 5 carpenter, yeesh. Oh, but we can make our archer's bow. And we're out of wood already. Goodness gracious, that building is taking a lot of wood. Alright. Some of those there, and some here. We'll want to expand out pretty soon anyway, so it doesn't hurt to clear those trees down. Rufus Garo, what do you have? Ooh! You have a bunch of... Iron and everything. Um, let's see, 130? Yeah. Do we care about coal? Uh, I can't remember, but that's really expensive. Oh, no, 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 it's only five gold. Okay, fine, we'll do that. Tin! Alright. What do we have to sell? Oh, jeez. A lot of cobblestone fences. Yeah, clear that out of our inventory. Thank you. And... Anything else? Get rid of those guys. And we can always make more furniture, so we'll do that just to get some gold. Oh, and 
What do you know? We don't need the stone malls anymore because we have so much better now. Um, we want to buy as much iron as we can get our hands on because I don't know how easy it actually is to get. There we go. Now we're broke, but hey, that's okay. <gasps> yes! Woo! Look at that morale! Everybody's so happy! We are thriving! This is like the first time that we've gotten two re new residents in a row. Okay, but we might want to start increasing our military before too long. Three body, four mind, five spirit. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and become a new footman? Because we just might need to start leveling somebody up before we get super desperate. Now, what are you carrying? I suppose I just got rid of all my other weapons. But you know what? We're turning one of these guys into the archer anyway. Let's see, who is it? Baxter, Daff, and Wind. Let's, let's make Wind our archer. Now I believe they can't wear the same armor. Yeah, so they change. Archer's cloak, archer's padded vest. So much more specific, but wow, 25 a damage. A damage, 25 a damage. 25 damage. That is really awesome. So I am happy to say that things are finally starting to shape up for Hedge Plane. And on that note, I think that makes for a good conclusion. Uh oh, maybe not quite. Ooh, I don't know what this thing is. Ogle Head Basher, an orc gone terribly wrong. Okay. Or terribly tur wrong. Oh my gosh. Maybe I spoke too soon, guys. Ooh, this could be really bad. Oh, no, no, no. Um. Oh, this. Oh, no. No. This, this is terrible. Come on, Archer. Do, do your job. No, 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 run away. Oh. Oh god! No! Ah! Holy crap. Oh dear. So all I have left is our archer. <gasps> oh, why did I speak so soon, you guys? Ah. Uh, okay. Who has the most body? Peyton, you got the best body. Why don't you put that sexy body to work? As a footman. And who's got the second most sexy body? Tippy? Our new new Tippy. Oh, I would feel so bad sacrificing her. I don't want to sacrifice our craftsmen. But I'm not sure we have a choice. It, it's not looking super awesome here, guys. Uh, okay. Yeah, you keep running. Nope, you keep running, cause... Oh dear. Oh, can you not... Oh, no, no, no. Did we trap ourselves in here? This is bad. This is very bad. Where are my footmen? Oh, you're attacking that wolf over there. Okay, we'll, we'll just keep running around with the archer. Oh, no. No! Oh, God! Oh, this is terrible! Oh, no! Now we can't train another archer because we don't have a high enough level other people. Oh, Zokyo, is this is this what you were telling me about? You warned me there was something worse than the rock golems. Uh, this is by far worse. And I'm afraid this may be the end of us. Oh, and things were going so well. Alas, Hedge Plane was not meant to be. Oh, sad day, everyone. What is, what is he attacking right now? Is there somebody in there or, where? Oh, he's just, he's just hanging out, you know, 
He just wants to take a little bit of a nap, guys. He's he's just tired. He wants to he wants to share a bed. No! <laughs> so sad, everyone. Alas, this is, I am afraid, the end of Hedgeplane. It was a good run. Things started to look up for us, but it just wasn't meant to be. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Please like the video if you enjoyed seeing all of our little hearthlings perish, and if you would like to see another series, by all means, let me know, and I will happily start another one and see if we can survive longer next time. Thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, stay foxy, everyone.